So I haven't recorded a video for you guys in a little while, and I apologize for that guys. Basically, I've been like really busy with like life stuff lately uh, and everything. I basically, I just started playing sports again uh, for the first time in a few months, and it's taking up like literally like three quarters of my day pretty much like every day. So sorry guys, it's going to be a bit harder for me to post. Uh, I will post as often as I can though. I'm hoping like once a week or something, so I apologize for that. But anyways guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about... Uh, all the stuff that's new uh, in the crown shop and like all the updates they have like they have like three major updates that I'm gonna cover in this video uh, one of them I think is a new like gear bundle of sorts so I guess I'll check out how much of a ripoff that's gonna be uh, and also the new mount I think I believe it's like a summer themed balloon mount I guess I'll check that out as well and then there's actually one major uh, major major uh, main update that they have uh, that they're making to the crown shop and we'll get into that, but first, let's check out what's new in the crown shop. Uh, honestly, haven't been um, on the game in a little while. Uh, let's get into the crown shop. Okay, uh, <laughs> just forgot how to record a video, you know, casually. It's fine. Uh, so I believe, okay, they have the Grizzleheim lore pack. Uh, I would do a pack opening of this, but I don't. First of all, I don't have any crowns. Second of all, I don't actually really need anything in the pack. Uh, the spells are kind of useless to me uh, at the moment, so I don't even think I have a life character. The life spell is like the most sought after in this one, it looks like. But I think if we go to, let's go to everything. And if we type Pharaoh, no, that's not it. Wait, actually, God, what was it called? I have no idea. Okay. Okay, they have so many new bundles and stuff. Okay, there's a lot to cover here. But let's get into the bumper shoot mount first, which looks like it's not going to be loading for me today. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to take to load, to be honest. Okay, so it's not really going to let me show you guys the mount because for some reason it's failing to load in game, so I can't show you guys in the game. Uh, and I apologize for that, but here's the mount right here. Uh, it's basically like the balloon mount. You hold it above your head and you can float around on it. Honestly, it really doesn't look that cool unless you're going for that like whole summer look. But I don't really know. I kind of think it's a waste of crowns. Uh, I wouldn't exactly buy it. I just, I just don't think it's that cool of a mount. But like I said... I mean, you can buy it if you want to, like, it's it's there for those people who want it. Uh, summer's coming to an end anyway, though, so I don't know if it's that fitting, but if you guys want to buy it, do that. I mean, that's one of the new things in the crown shop. But uh, let's get to the more interesting stuff, actually. Okay, so they have a couple new things uh, in the crown shop besides the whole Grizzleheim lore pack, which I showed you guys. So they have, obviously, the bumper shoot mount, uh, but they have these new bundles, basically. Uh, so there's the palanquin bundle. Uh, which is basically, it gives you the, uh, Mander Palanquin mount. I, I think it's pronounced Palanquin, I don't know. It gives you the mount, uh, from that specific Pharaoh's Horde pack. Uh, which we will get to in a second because something interesting is happening with that. But it gives you the mount and a Mega Snack Pack, so... I could see someone buying this if they really want that Mander mount, uh, and you just get a Mega Snack Pack on top of that, so... That's a decent one. Uh, and then of course there's the Crocagator bundle, which gives you the Crocagator mount, which I believe... Uh, how much is the Crocagator? Uh, it's... How much is it? Can I... Okay. It's 6,500, so this... Okay, so it's actually cheaper to buy the bundle, so you're actually saving 500 crowns uh, with the whole... Uh, here, let me delete this. Uh, you're basically saving uh, 500 crowns with the Crocagator bundle, and plus you're getting a Mega Snack Pack. So if you guys really want the mount, I do recommend buying this one and this one. Uh, these aren't too bad of things. I mean, I wish I could see their picture... Uh, I wish I could see their picture in the little window here, but I just, uh, restarted, or, like, reset my computer, and it's taken a while for all the stuff to load in game, so I apologize that it's not really here. Uh, okay, my character just popped up, but, yeah, so those are the two new bundles, I mean, I guess they're kinda cool, like, buy them if you want. They're not exactly, like, trying to scam you here, which they have been doing in some of their other updates, so I commend them for that, uh, basically, you know, it's, it's, it's a decent start, I mean, I think they can make these bundles a lot better, though. Uh, so of course there's these four new items, they have a bunch of emotes that uh, I won't really go into too much, but let's get to the main topic uh, for today's video because this is kind of a big deal. Okay, so the next thing here is actually kind of big, so on the, mor on the, bleh, on the morning of August 19th, we'll be cleaning up the crown shop to clear room for new items. Don't miss out on your chance to get the following items before they leave the crown shop. Uh, I'm guessing this isn't, uh, you know, forever because for pack up loses and stuff. Uh, they like to bring these things back, but I found what's kind of weird is they they're gonna remove the rainbow teleport effect I don't really know why like 
maybe this was just a summer item and since summer's ending like I don't know they want to take it back I don't really know because teleport effects uh, they're a relatively new cosmetic to the game so I it doesn't really make much sense as to why they're taking that out I'm not really sure uh, but other than that they're taking out a bunch of packs I think one two three four five six seven eight nine like 10, 10 or 11 packs, I'm sorry, my counting's bad, but they're taking out like 10 packs, and one of these packs, or two of these packs, the Unicorn Horde Pack and the Decaversary Horde Pack, have been here since what, they've been here since last year, like these are two relatively new packs, I actually kind of like some of the items in these packs, like this one has good mounts, and this one has good wands, and like a good pet or something, so like these packs actually have some decent items, but I'm guessing it's because nobody was buying them, so they're like, okay, you know, maybe if we take out the Unicorn and the Decaversary Horde packs, um, then we bring them back, people will be more inclined to buy them because they look more new. I'm not really sure, guys. But the thing is, uh, since they're doing this Crown Shop cleanup, uh, this kind of makes me worry because this probably isn't the last time they're going to do a Crown Shop cleanup. Personally, I don't really think they need to remove stuff like from the Crown Shop. Like, It makes sense that it would always be there, you know? So, they're also removing Ninja's Lord Pack, so basically people can't get Ninja Pigs from that pack anymore. So, that's interesting. And then, they made the Pharaoh's Bundle because uh, the Pharaoh's Horde Pack uh, is leaving too. Uh, and, you know, what, like, makes me wonder is, like, since they did a bundle for the Pharaoh's Horde Pack, since it's going away, why don't you make a bundle for all these? Like, such as, for 6,000 crowns, you can buy the Phoenix Mount and get a Mega Snack Pack on top of that, or, the, or do it with the Raven's Mount or the Witch Mount. You know, so that way people will realize these items are leaving the game, and then maybe, just maybe, they'll buy the bundles uh, with the mounts that they never got a chance to get. I don't know, that's just an idea that they could do. But, uh, what's really interesting, they're also, okay, so th these packs aren't that significant anymore. Neither is the Pharaoh's Horde pack, really. The Shaman's Lore pack actually has some decent spells. I think that's the one where you get Winter Moon, Savage Paw, and... Lord of Night, that's what it was. That was that was the third one. So, they're removing these, so you can't get those spells from that pack anymore, which is going to be interesting, because I know those are some... I know Winter Moon and Savage Paw are kind of some sought-after spells, but uh, we'll see what happens to those. I guess you can only get them from Lore, which will be kind of annoying, but, you know. And then they're removing the Wyvern's Hard Pack. This one didn't make much sense to me, because to all the new gardeners in the game, basically, you need energy gear, you know? You need energy gear to start, like, gardening in the game, like, really, really efficiently, you know? And, like, this is the only pack where you can really get energy gear. Like, of course, you can get the Beastmaster set in the Crown Shop. And then, of course, you can also get energy gear, I believe, from one of the Halloween packs as well as the Christmas pack. But those are seasonal packs. Like, this is the only, the only non-seasonal pack which, which you can get energy from. And, of course, you won't be able to get the Green Warden gear anymore. So, that's going to be interesting. I feel like they should also have a bundle for this. And I believe, uh... What was it? It was like, uh, no, you can't be my friend. No, you can't be my friend. <laughs> uh, they they added, they they changed something about the Wyverns pack. Sorry, I'm recording in uh, I'm I'm recording my desktop, so this might look kind of weird uh, with all my toolbars and stuff. But I believe, I believe, I believe, uh, Wyverns Horde pack, better mount chance. So I don't, I guess they up to the mount chance, you know, from this pack. So I guess if you guys want the Wyvern mounts. Uh, I think they actually look pretty cool, so you might want to go for this. I'm guessing they did this because it's going away soon, and if people see if people see that there's a higher like mount chance, I'm sure they'll want to buy more. I'm guessing that's what their motivation was behind this, but I don't know. I find it really weird that they're removing stuff like from the crown shop because obviously that's kind of like their main source of money. I'm not really sure, especially these three fairly new items that are at most a year old. Like uh, that doesn't make any sense for me. Oh, also, there's the Horde of the Hydra pack. Basically, the only good thing in that is a mount. Like, this one's extremely dated. I guess it makes sense that they're removing some of the old packs, but... I don't know, the Witch's Horde pack, that came out a few years ago, too, right? Like, I don't know. That's that's semi-new, right? Uh, these, these, are, these are rare, though. And the Wyvern's Horde pack, uh, obviously, energy gear. Then, now it's gonna be, like, a Christmas slash Halloween special thing. Like, that's that's the only way you can get energy gear now, unless you want to get the Beastmaster set. But we all know that's not too good. Uh, but anyways, I think I'm going to wrap it up for this video. Sorry guys, my commentary, I, I, I don't know. It, it's a bit off. I haven't made videos for a little while. It's been like, I don't know, a week, I think. I'm not really sure. But I'm going to try to get a video out once a week. Uh, but it's going to be hard because I'm so freaking busy all the time. Uh, seriously, school's going to start for me, I think. And like, gosh, it's going to be like 
I, it's a little bit more. It's like a week and a half, I think, school starts for me. I believe, something like that. Yeah, I don't know. But I also have sports going on as well. So videos won't be coming out as frequently, but I will try my best, guys. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts about all this kind of stuff in the comments down below. I think it's kind of controversial whether they should remove this stuff or not because people might want it in the future. I'm not really sure, but I'm guessing it's because none of this stuff was selling very well. So they're going to bring it back for future events so they can sell more. Uh, that's what I'm thinking anyway. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more videos like this. I will try to get them out weekly, guys. I promise. But yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about the updates. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.